Hi there guys, my name is Mark Bird and this is my entry to the International Player Foundation's competition to hopefully gain support to get me to the 2024 World Championships in Memphis, Tennessee. This will also allow me a chance to get closer to Scott. Not that Scott, the other one. I hear these guys have a bit of friendly rivalry. For myself, Heroclix started nearly 20 years ago uh, when Indie Heroclix came out. I uh, had a lot of characters from comics that I'd read as a kid. Um, so I really enjoyed this set and played a fair bit of it. I played up until the release of Batman Alpha, still mostly around indie hero clicks, um, but then life and other things got in the way and all my figures got put into storage. Um, fast forward to 2022, uh, this was around the release of Avengers Fantastic Four Empire was the latest set. My workplace at the time had given me a gift card um, for some reason and I decided that after eyeing off Hero Clicks again for quite some time, I may as well spend this gift on something that you know I'll enjoy and otherwise wouldn't have spent my money on. The reason why the community should look to support me uh, to come to Hero Clicks Worlds is I want to put Australia on the map for competitive Hero Clicks. We have a lot of amazing players here in our country that play great games and we'd love to show you what we've got here in Australia so you can hopefully someday come and play in tournaments on our shores here in Australia. We got a taste for nationals pretty quick in my first year coming back, myself and some of my workmates. I was lucky to place top eight in the nationals for 2022 here in Australia. Um, and then I got on board to actually help fund and host the Rock States in 2023 for Victoria. I was fortunate enough to become the state champion through that competition. And no other stores were really putting their hand up or in a position due to sales or other reasons to run Heroclix um, Nationals that year. So I also funded the Heroclix Nationals for 2023 and ensured that all of our players had what they deserved in having a national cop tournament. Um, I was lucky to place top four. Um, congratulations to Bobby Creaseman for being our 2023 national champion. I'm currently working with stores across the country right now to also build a national league and ladder, culminating in state and national championships so we can actually all be seated across the country and, and play no matter how large our play group is. And this is something that, that is quite dear to my heart, is to help build the community. Thanks to the kindness of Adam Macy-Juski, uh, I was brought into the Clicksing It podcast team and you can hear my Aussie accent in several episodes as well. I'm not going to talk too much about the figure I'd like to make if I won Worlds. Um, I've spent a lot of time and effort looking into what I'd like to do for this sort of figure. And for me, I'd love to make a Nightcrawler that really fits the character in the comics and the movies and, and consider all of Nightcrawler's history. Uh, what are some fun things? Well, clearly, as you can see behind me, you know, I've got quite deep into hero clicks. This is mostly all my modern figures other than Starro, which I just can't put away. Um, I love to have these here in my study while I'm working so I can kind of turn back and think about new teams and combinations. Um, I actually have um, my The Great Crusader from my Batman Alpha way back in 2008, I think I bought the boosters. Um, and he's traveled with me to Tokyo and New York City and has become a travel companion for any any time I'm gonna travel anywhere else across the world, he'll come with me and take part in photos as he has before. Um, I'd love to meet you know a lot of the people that I've listened to you know, through podcasts or interacted with in the Heroclix groups. It's one of the best communities I've been a part of. Um, thank you all for your consideration. Um, I hope to see you all at Worlds and all the best of luck to everyone else that's entered into the IPF. Um, you know, I, I hope to see Heroclix continue to grow as a game. Um, it's a wonderful game and it's on the right trajectory. Um, I look forward to seeing you all soon one way or another. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi friends from the International Players Foundation and all the members of the community. I'm Alex Ramirez from Mexico City. First, thank you for taking time to watch this video. I don't remember when was the last time I recorded myself, so thank you. I hope you like it. And well, I started in the world of Hero Clicks when I was barely 10 to 12 years old, and together with my brother and dad, and with the Infinity Challenge and Hyper Time Collections. So as you can imagine, because I, uh, I was too young, I never managed to learn how to play at 100%. So my real return to the Heroclix world was at 16 years old in Infinity Gauntlet Tournament, where I met my current gaming group. And my biggest reason why the community should send me to world is because in October of this year, I'm going to get married uh, with the love of my life. I met her when I was 14 years old uh, at high school. So as you can imagine, the, this is going to be the best year of my life.
So beyond the extraordinary expense of money that this, that this represents, um, it's going to be a radical change in my life. And I want to celebrate it and uh, doing one of the things I enjoy the most that is playing hero clicks. And uh, so I hope to come with you uh, this year. And in case I win worlds and the figure I would love to design is John Constantine from the DC series, the one that defeated Trigon with all the magical stuff of the DC universe. So, uh, well, it's going to be an incredible figure. Um, last year uh, was the the first time I had attended at Worlds, so I, I, I was fast fascinated uh, with the tournament. I, I was fascinated with the people, so I hope to go this year too. Uh, thank you, and I hope to, hope to see you in, in, on September. Goodbye. What is up, everybody in the Hero Clicks land? This is Scott Porter. No, no, no. Maybe you're not Scott Porter. I wish it would be Scott Porter. Now that I remember, I'm Nicolás Taborda uh, from Rosario, a city in Santa Fe province in Argentina. How long have you been playing Heroclix? Well, I've been playing it's like about nine years now. And, and um, there are so many stories around that that I wish to tell you in person. And it, it was, I remember it was the Nick Fury Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. era uh, when I began to play. Your biggest reason why the community should send you to Worlds? Well, uh, it's a big responsibility for me to represent all those players that I've been meeting all these years and they taught me so much to play better and I will be really grateful to represent them uh, at Worlds. And I also have a great passion for this game. I love it. And I'm always improving my way to teach the game so the new players can enjoy the game um, faster because there's a lot to know. Which figure would you make if you won Worlds? Wow, if I won Worlds, uh, well, my two favorite characters uh, are Doctor Strange and Spider-Man and I think I will do, I would love to do a legacy card from Doctor Strange um, but I have another idea, it could be for example uh, making a Hero Clips player type of character with different uh, starting dials that you can choose uh, at the beginning of the game and maybe you can switch click the scope for another one uh, but I think I should focus on making a new character so I think one of those a uh, Spider-Man or Doctor Strange I think a Doctor Strange because I love it Any additional info you think is fun, helpful? I use hearing aids on both sides so as long as I have them there's no problem I can hear yeah, normal. Baby, you got too many hero clicks. No, baby, this is just empty boxes. And what is this? Oh, I didn't know it was there. Hi, this is George William Ong from the Philippines. Um, I started playing hero clicks since 2013. Uh, ASM, Teen Titans, Fear Itself, those were the sets uh, that I first played. And um, so, um, why would the community want me to play in Worlds? Um, the community here in the Philippines is, uh, I mean, we have active players. It, it's not that big, but uh, we do have active players. Um, and also maybe the distributor here didn't really help us uh, during pandemic um, and even after the pandemic um, so during the pandemic i was one of the players who heavily played uh, in role 20. Um, i taught many filipino players how to use role 20 and after a pandemic um, i was one of the people who made clicks manila and made 
tournaments here again. I mean, physical tournaments here again happen. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, maybe um, for, you know, uh, it's Worlds. So, I mean, there's it's so rare for a Filipino to go to Worlds. The last Filipino who went there was one of my friend, J.V. Villones, uh, last 2015. So, I guess it's also time now for us to be exposed in the international settings as well. Um, I mean, we, 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 we are exposed in the international setting uh, online. <laughs> um, we played in the H4H events. Um, I wanted to go to the Rock Cup, but uh, um, I had some duties, so I haven't planned a trip to go there uh, but hopefully for worlds this September I can uh, uh, join you guys um, and also a uh, fun fact I work for an airline so Manila to LAX or SFO or JFK that's free flights for me I can handle that one so if I win uh, this IPF contest or you know community driven contest um i would just need a domestic flight from one of those um terminals from lax sfo or um, jfk to go to memphis so I, um, I need help with the domestic flights only um yeah um if i won uh, worlds if i win worlds um maybe i'll make Venom pool, not the the one that we had back then in DPXF set. Um, the one with the curly hair, no, not that one. I want the Venom pool uh, from the Marvel's Contest of Champions, uh, the big Venom pool uh, with the swords. So yeah, um, hopefully I can see you there. Uh, bye bye. Thank you. Hello, Hero Collect community. I'm Derek Benedict, and this is my son. Zeke Benendike, and we are two-thirds of the Benendike Heroclix clan, and this is just a mission for the IPF trip to Worlds. We are from Innisfil, Alberta, Canada. I've been playing Heroclix since I was seven years old, when I found my dad's old shoebox of Heroclix. And I initially played Heroclix casually against my brother and a few other friends when Infinity Challenge was released, but stopped shortly after Sinister. It wasn't until Zeke relentlessly pestered me with that shoebox of hero clicks that we got back into playing. And admittedly, at first, it was just to make him do math. In 2019, we found the Lethbridge hero clicks community and the three Gronhead brothers took us in, taught us how to play, and we became great friends with them. We've moved twice since then, but to this day, we're still good friends, like Zeke said, with the Gronheads. And we play with them in store, in person, and online. And maybe most importantly, in our Heroclix family throwdown. Unfortunately, there were champions last year. We're coming for that trophy. Yeah, we want the gold one. Uh, most of our play is casual, but we do enjoy competitive. Um, last year we played in the Alberta Rock, and I got ninth, just a missing cut. Zeke really is a great player, and quite often at these tournaments, he strikes fear into the hearts of people more than twice his age. For me, my greatest Hero Clicks accomplishment probably came this past summer when I won the Lethbridge Hero Clicks theme Tower of Prizes tournament with a mystical theme. Got extremely lucky, but ended up winning the whole thing. We would greatly appreciate the IPF to sponsor one of us to attend Worlds. Yeah, we would love to meet and get to know the greater Hero Clicks community. But my biggest reason for wanting to be there is to play at the biggest tournament in the world with my dad and my uncle Javen, who is currently living in New York State. Yeah, although a sponsorship for both of us would be greatly appreciated, a sponsorship for even one of us would allow the whole Benedict clan to go to Worlds. I love creating figures and dolls, and if I won Worlds, I would make a server with Kong level power. And if I happen to win Worlds, I would make a new Nightcrawler with a unique hypersonic multi-attack ability. Thank you for your consideration. And we look forward to seeing you all, whether it's at this world's or the next. Hello everybody, 
My name is Andrea and I'm from Italy. I was one of the winners uh, of uh, 2023 EPF contest and the one that inspired the idea. I'm proud that I was able to do so by only be present in Memphis in 2022. The reason for uh, winning this year contest is simple, it's very simple. I want to be first European to win the world after a long time and to be able to give some love to Tain, one of the only characters that have only two hero clicks ever created. Well, that's it for my part. I will be seeing you all in Memphis, even if I won't win the contest. See ya! Hi, my name is Edison and I'm a Heroclix player from Singapore. Last year, through the help of the International Player Foundation, as well as everyone who contributed, I managed to fulfill a lifelong dream, which was to travel to the US and compete in the Heroclix World Championship. This year, I would like to participate again, and here is my video submission. I've been playing this wonderful game ever since the very first set, Infinity Challenge, where me and my brother were traveling to the comic book store right after watching the very first Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie, and the comic book store owner actually gave me this promotional Spider-Man figure from the Infinity Challenge set, which I still treasure to this very day. I am the community leader here in Singapore, where I run tournaments for a total of five different stores, held numerous events and demos just to introduce this wonderful game to more players. I'm also a content creator myself where I have my own YouTube channel which is Edison's Tabletop Games where I go through Heroclix gameplay videos as well as Heroclix unboxings. The biggest reason why you should vote me for the IPF is that I want to compete with all of you again. Last year I got 48 plays for Modern Age, 13 plays for Pulp. I'm also a two-time Heroclix national champion here in Singapore so I'm bringing some competition with me. I'm sure I will train harder and I hope to perform better than I did last year. If I were to win Worlds, the figure that I wish to create will be Danny Catch from the 2008 series where he was an agent of Zed Kill. Now this version of Ghost Rider, he has blue flames, and he was attacking other Ghost Riders and absorbing their spirit of vengeance so that Zed Kill can accumulate more power. Now I definitely want to make this version of Ghost Rider as part of the Hero Clicks line. Thank you for taking the time to view this video and I do hope I can get your votes for the IPF. I look forward to seeing all of you at Worlds. Take care. Hello out there to all the other Hero Clicks players around the world. My name is Bobby Creesman. I'm part of the Hero Clicks playing team and crew down here in sunny Queensland. We've got about uh, maybe 10 or so players locally. We've probably got about 40 or eh, eh, I guess really more like 20 or so players in the entire country. Been fighting hard to try to keep it alive and been fighting hard to try to continue to grow the community down here in Australia. Um, a little bit of a challenge, but it's also been a lot of fun because it allows me to continue to play Hero Clicks, the game that I absolutely love. Um, and I've been playing Hero Clicks since, um, since it was called Mage Knight. So <laughs> way back in the day, I remember getting my first Infinity Gauntlet starter uh, because I was playing Mage Knight and looked over and said, oh, I could do this with comic book characters too. That would be really fun. Uh, I think one of the reasons I want to go to Worlds is just to continue to interact with others that love the game. And again, you know, down here in Australia, we're kind of a small community. Don't have nearly the uh, same, I guess, luxury of having multiple communities that are really close to each other. Um, driving to events can be a 20 to 30 hour challenge in Australia. But when we do get together, we have a ton of fun. Um, and I do really enjoy that about the Hero Clicks community. I feel like you can kind of get together with a bunch of different people from all kinds of backgrounds and all different places and play the same game and have a lot of fun with it. I think the figure I would make uh, if I won Worlds, I would love to see a new modern playable Hellboy. And I know that's probably a licensing nightmare that no one will ever figure out. But I feel like that was always one of my favorite comic book characters. Um, and he just never got a lot of Hero Clicks love. There are a couple of different versions of him, um, but they're very old at this point and definitely not playable in modern. Uh, and I think, you know, otherwise, the other stuff to include that would be helpful or useful and for not useful information. I'm now two time Hero Clicks national champion for Australia. Um, and I do love just kind of the meta play and kind of the high level competition, though <laughs> there have been many years when I've not been very good at it. But would love to get across two worlds to play 
a high level version of the game and thanks guys hey everyone dylan from edmonton alberta canada here uh been playing for about two years since um war their Elms came out i uh, love the game it's great uh, i can't believe i've never heard of it before um hugely into it now uh been trying to grow the game in our uh, town here it's uh it's great and i wish more people would play because it's amazing and um uh, uh, I'd love to go to Worlds. I've never been to any big tournaments yet. Um, I think if I won, I would create like a good classic Venom. Maybe one that could do wall crawler and like maybe plus one attack and damage if you have the Spider Man keyword. If you kill someone, absorb a power they can use. Um, I just want like classic Venom, like bad guy Venom. I think that'd be sick. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching and hopefully see you at Worlds. Thanks. Bye. Hola, ¿qué tal, gente? ¿Cómo están? Porque nosotros estamos en la tienda Black Lotus en Cochabamba, Bolivia. Es una tienda oficial de Giro. Mi nombre es Rafael. Mi nombre es Sergio Gutiérrez. Adiós, papá. Y estamos acá para hacer un video muy cortito pues para poder informarles o como les sería participar en el mundial en el giro que pasó de ayer. En mi caso llevo jugando más de 10 años. Eh, la neurótica del juego ha variado bastante, pero son más de 10 años. Sí, pero... Y en mi caso es distinto porque yo eh, más voy del lado coleccionismo, desde los 2010 más o menos, pero ya de una manera competitiva, hace unos 3 años, 4 años atrás. Sí, eh, en Bolivia tenemos un pequeño que juega con bastante competitividad. Hemos participado en el torneo internacional, donde hemos podido ver que eh, hay mucho nivel en los equipos de México, Chile y Perú, eh, con los que hemos podido interactuar, ahora somos una comunidad mucho más grande y con la que compartimos y directamente. Y en ese torneo internacional que hace dos años, que hemos podido crear una realidad competitiva. Entonces, eh, realmente creo que eh, haríamos un muy buen papel y podríamos demostrar el, la, el nivel del juego de la Además, um, recalcar que hemos, hemos llegado a ser una comunidad de más de 50 jugadores activos, el cual, eh, como decía mi amigo, estamos con un nivel competitivo bastante alto y queremos darnos a demostrar el nivel que tenemos y enfrentarnos con los mejores. ¿no? Si nos dan la oportunidad, para nosotros va a ser realmente un privilegio y vamos a poder aprender y así hacer que crezca mucho más la comunidad que tenemos hoy en día. Um, no sé, a mí me encanta eh, hoy en día jugar con Scott Porter. Me parece una mini demasiado desbalanceada, muy buena. Me encantaría formar una mini que cueste menos de 50 puntos, que tenga más o menos las mismas habilidades, que sea un pulse wave, pero que meta daño eh, total que está el estándar, el que está más con el día, es decir, que haga más un daño, son buen punto. Por eso estoy feliz. Yo, por mi parte, me gustaría que sea un tipo de representación en alguna medida de la cultura latinoamericana. Entonces, eh, eso sí me gustaría mucho para, porque realmente quiero que no solo se juegue en Norteamérica, sino se juegue a nivel mundial. Nos gustaría que eh, se represente a la latinoamericana. ¿Alguna? Tal vez recalcar nuevamente que nosotros somos dos jugadores que estaríamos representando a nuestro país y, y así también a Latinoamérica, que en el último torneo internacional que se ha llevado en la pandemia hemos tenido la oportunidad de enfrentarnos contra México, contra Perú, Chile. Aquí mi compañero ha ganado al, al uno de los campeones eh, nacionales de México, si no, si no estuvieron también creo que es parte del mundial, y yo he sido el campeón del primer nacional que hemos tenido en Cochabamba y en Bolivia como más de 50 participantes, ¿no? Nos encantaría que nos den esta oportunidad para demostrar y para que se den cuenta del nivel que tenemos. Yo lo que les pediría es que eh, si podemos organizar torneos en Latinoamérica para que muchos de nuestros amigos que eh, hemos jugado con una comunidad muy interesante, muy unida eh, en esos países y hay otros países donde se están encontrando con esta comunidad, 
que nos gustaría, y estoy seguro que a muchos les gustaría hacer torneos para hacer los detalles para los representantes que pudieran ir a los torneos nacionales o a los torneos imperiales. Entonces, si pueden tomarlo como una recomendación, es lo que se Bueno, eso es todo. Gracias por darnos esta oportunidad. Esperemos vernos dentro de poco en el Mundial. Un gran saludo para toda la comunidad desde Bolivia. Chao.